we visited Lofoten five days in July and documented the trip. Sit back, relax and enjoy. It was our first flight after the coronavirus and we looked forward to traveling again. We flew from Copenhagen to Oslo and from Oslo to Harstad Narvik, about three hours flight time in total. From Harstad Narvik we rented a car and drove four hours to Lofoten. During the drive, we experienced for the first time the beautiful light. The sun never sets here, but hangs over the horizon all night long. Our first experience was the Rüden Lofoten hike. Here we got a beautiful view of Kvalvika Beach. Lofoten is full of surprises, and on the way home we found this beautiful lighthouse. One of the most magical things about Lofoten is the clouds at night. The lighthouse was not the only surprise this evening. We saw orcas along the coast. and we got very close to them. On day two, we climbed the mountain Wolandstring. Although the mountain looks difficult, it is an easy hike of 457 meters. Here you get the beautiful view of the Fredbank Bridge. On day three, it was time to visit Reinebrangen. The experience started already at the foot of the mountain with this beautiful view of the city. From here we walked in beautiful surroundings to the foot of the mountain. The hike started with 1700 steps which was a bit hard. We were blown away with the most beautiful view we have ever seen. In the middle of the night we experienced the most incredible views of the mountains. It was like a scene from The Lord of the Rings. It was one of the most beautiful traveling experiences we have ever had.
On day four, we went on a sea eagle safari from Svalbard. The boat trip through the Norwegian wilderness was absolutely fantastic. The sea eagle's wingspan can grow up to 2.5 meters. It was incredible to see them so close. It is an experience that we highly recommend. On the last day, we visited Henning Svær. At the top, we met the power glider Birk, who was about to jump out. Imagine how it would be to glide like that over the Norwegian mountains. Festfalken has a unique view beyond the blue coastlines. It looks like the tropics. The last night on the Lofoten Island, we visited the Devil's Gate near Svalbard. Here we saw these cool climbers. It was the most amazing end to the trip and we will definitely come back again.